Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pencil Teacher's Drawing Stuff. So today's episode is about drawing a virus monster. So right now we do have a virus going around and it's like a monster keeping us all in our houses, keeping the school closed. Ugh. So I just imagine if it was a real monster, like we would go out and fight it or something. <laughs> so if you look at a virus under a microscope, it looks really wacky. It looks like, um, like a ball with a bunch of like spikes on it. Uh, well, there are all sorts of different kinds of virus. Uh, I'm just gonna imagine one. Uh, you can add all sorts of crazy things too if you like, okay? So here's our picture. We're gonna be drawing in landscape orientation today, so turn your paper sideways. And we're gonna start off just by finding the middle of our paper. Okay, I'm imagining uh, me as like a samurai uh, fighting a virus over here. So there's the middle. Let's start over here with our virus monster with a big circle like that and then we're gonna give him angry eyes like that okay angry eyebrows and like this angry oval with the shine that. Try to have your upper eyelid or eyebrow here touching the top of that oval. That will make it look better. Then you just got like, like an angry face like that. Maybe sharp teeth. Maybe a tongue sticking out. So disrespectful. Okay, now viruses have like bumpy things sticking out. So let's draw these bumpy things sticking out. Uh, maybe from the top first. Two lines like that. And an oval. Let's make it look kind of 3D. On the top part, we're gonna draw a curvy line like that. So it's kind of like a flattened marshmallow. A flattened marshmallow. And let's draw a bunch of these all around him. We're spinning that marshmallow around. So, uh, at a certain point, instead of a smile, it becomes like a frown. A frown, like that. We can even have some growing over here. scary body, okay? Um, I think most viruses, if you look at it under a microscope, they'll look like this, but let's make him look like a monster. So underneath here, we're gonna give him a strawberry shaped body, like that. And he's gonna have his arms out like that. Scary. So we're gonna start with his shoulder near his head as usual. Those are his upper arms. And we're gonna draw like that. Two smaller ovals there for his lower arms. I'm gonna erase this part, but keep that other part. It's gonna be, I don't know, uh, like armor for him maybe. <laughs> then we're gonna draw his claws like this. Gonna be like I don't I don't know we're gonna see uh, let's 
strong. One leg like that, and the other leg like that. Lower leg there, lower leg there. With clawy feet. Maybe there's a claw coming in the back too. Ooh, sharp and scary. That is a scary naked monster. Let's make him uh, like not naked. He has like armor. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like underpants. Ta-da! Underpants. Let's give him uh, some abs. So find the middle of his body and just do a dot. Then we're gonna go down and then give him these bumps here like that. And the top, give him a really big monster chest. It's just like a big wide W like that. Cool. Give him some oblique muscles. Just more curvy lines there. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's give him uh, like flaming hair. Like he's got a, like a head that's on fire. Crazy. Double layer it. <laughs> he's like, he's so wacky. Uh, I, I think um, it can be airborne now. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's give him some wings. It's gonna be scary bat wings from here, coming out of his back. We're gonna draw a curved line up, up, like that, try to make them match. Then down, like that. It's like pointy at the top. And then rainbows until we can't see it anymore. Okay, so now let's draw us fighting him, okay? So that's the monster, and then we are gonna be over here. Start off with a circle. Let's draw ourselves like leading in. Ready to fight. Let's draw a strawberry there. Let's draw uh, some shoulder armor. We're gonna draw a circle there in a circle there, but we don't see part of it because our back's covering it. We can erase this. Let's draw our arms sticking out like this. One, two. Then we erase like that. And a little ball at the end. The other arm, uh, maybe we don't see it. Maybe it's hiding behind our body. But over here, we can add a really cool sword. Back. Next, we're gonna draw one leg. Ah, let's draw a butt. Over here, that's my butt. Da. Let's draw our thigh, like that. Our lower leg, and our foot. We can erase these lines in the leg, and the foot. Let's have our other leg this. I'm ready for action. Ready to fight. Uh, and my other arm is, ah, you know what? Just so that we know I have two arms, let's just draw it like out here. Like that. There we go. Now we have a naked person. Let's draw some clothes on him. So maybe he has It's like ripped from a battle. Like that. And maybe he's got like a uh, big pants. Like that. Big pants. Like that. Cool. Let's draw hair. Uh, maybe I'm like a samurai, so I have. Samurai bun on top, top knot, like that, with a little oval hair tie like that. And I'm gonna be facing the monster, so my hair is gonna be like this. My 
ear is here like that and I am not happy not happy <laughs> or I'm super happy up to you right so I'm fighting it let's draw a curved horizon to make this picture look really dynamic instead of just flat like that right that looks cool but we can make it look even cooler by having this curvy horizon. So a monster is like that. And then let's have, maybe he's set a bunch of things on fire. So, fire. Fire. There's like some like, I don't know, rocks for whatever reason. Maybe there's like skulls. You can decorate this however you like. But yeah, ta-da! Here is us fighting a virus monster. So thank you so much. I hope you had fun uh, creating your monster, creating your character. You can add like other weapons, um, like guns or whatever you like. But yeah, thank you so much. And just to remind you, we do have Pencil online classes now. Uh, Pencil at Home, you can find all the information on our website. It's a video chat lesson where you can learn from us step by step how to draw, paint, color, uh, all sorts of really cool projects. So I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.